Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Benjamin and you are watching Sartorial Styles. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most common accessories in formal menswear, the pocket square. I'll talk about its history, where the name comes from, and I will talk about different fabrics, styles and folding techniques. I will also give you a little glimpse at my own collection. A full wardrobe tour will probably come out in a couple of weeks. But now, let's go! In the English language area, the history of the pocket square is closely related to the usage of handkerchiefs. A handkerchief is a small piece of thin fabric, mostly hemmed and in a squared shape, that can be carried in a pocket or in a bag. It is used for hygienic purposes, for example to wipe one's hands or face or to blow your nose. This practice started in Europe during the 16th century. Some sources even claim it was already a thing in the times of ancient Greece and Rome. Today, handkerchiefs are still around and are still used for hygienic purposes. The pocket square, on the other hand, has a completely different purpose. It is a pure accessory, only used to look good when wearing it. It was first seen in the 1830s, back then mostly in combination with horse riding attire. Around 1860, the jacket as we know it today was introduced and people started using their pocket squares as a fashion accessory. It is worn in the chest pocket of a suit jacket, blazer or sports jacket. The definition of a pocket square is a little bit tricky. Technically, a handkerchief worn in the chest pocket can be seen as a pocket square. From my point of view, any piece of fabric you wear in the chest pocket as an accessory is a pocket square. The name comes from the very classic fold you currently see on screen. Because of the square shape of the fabric that peeks out of the pocket, the name pocket square was born. From the 1920s to the 1960s, many men were wearing pocket squares every day. It was part of the uniform back then. If you were wearing a suit, you were wearing a pocket square as well. The most common choice was white linen to match the mostly white fabric of the shirt. After the 1960s, the usage of pocket squares declined. In the late 2000s, it made a comeback though. That's probably a part of the general growth of the sartorial movement, but can also be referred to famous TV shows like Peaky Blinders or Mad Men. We are not at a point anywhere close to the 1930s where pretty much every man was wearing a pocket square, but many people who are interested in style do consider it when wearing a formal jacket. While the most classic option is plain white linen, many other fabrics and patterns are around today. In my collection I have pocket squares made of silk, linen, cotton and wool. Silk is viewed as the most formal fabric and it's especially suitable for black tie or very formal suits. Linen, wool and cotton can be worn with more everyday garments like sports jackets or tweed suits. There is no strict line though, you can absolutely wear silk with a tweed jacket. I just recommend matching the texture of the fabrics. A very coarse flannel jacket will probably not match very well with a super smooth silk pocket square. The first pocket squares you should consider are plain white ones. One made of silk, one made of linen. White matches with pretty much any color. I like to wear it with both formal suits and more casual jackets. Pattern pocket squares are a great way of adding some visual interest to an outfit. Especially when I go for a monochromatic approach, I love to slip in a textured and patterned cloth in my chest pocket. Some of my favorites from my own collection are my white pocket squares, this silk square with a very nice print, this wool square featuring brown and grey tones and a few other ones I show you on screen right now. So, the pocket square is a fashion accessory, commonly worn with a tailored jacket. It's not a must, but many sartorially inclined people consider it as a should. 
When you're buying pocket squares, go for classic and versatile options first. Also, keep an eye on the size of the square. Anything below 30 by 30 centimeters will easily disappear in your pocket. I recommend 35 by 35 or even 40 by 40 centimeters. And that's it. Focus on the pocket square. Up there, you can find two more videos featuring this topic. And down there, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. We'll be hitting a thousand subscribers very soon. Have a nice time and see you next week.